it's so motivating to want to know the answer, to, to try and figure it out. Curiosity, I think, drives everybody. It's absolutely compelling. A kid always asks, why, why, why? Well, I guess I still am a bit of a kid. And, and also sometimes you have to ask, why not? Because uh, people do, don't realize that sometimes it's even more important to ask why some things do not happen, except that why they do happen. When you are a scientist, curiosity is the first uh, thing that you must have. Curiosity, motivation, and to try to be as much as creative as possible. There was this whole ecosystem which I didn't even understand. I didn't even know, and I didn't even understand about why the water was green, why light was being reflected, why the sky was blue. The experience of my discovery was something that made me want more. And that's what I felt was uh, a force that was unstoppable. So it's fascinating. Oh, it's just like a little seed, and you next thing you have a big tree, you know. There's so much to learn, and there's, there's so much that we do not know. What is the brain? How does it operate? What is it really there for? Why is it so amazing? Do you understand yourself? Of course not. I have intrinsically a monstrous level of curiosity that drives me in almost everything I do academically. You know, you have to be curious because you need to understand a lot of factors to understand a community's health. How smart the cells have to be. How many things that is, is it evolutionarily useful for a cell to know how to do? Curiosity is ultimately what makes us, you know, scientists and, you know, we, we are trying to understand how things work. But one of the things that makes life interesting is looking at the world around you and trying to understand why it is the way it is and how it's changed over time. So, so if you don't have curiosity, you might as well stay in bed. I was curious about things. I wanted to, to um, learn more, and I went to the library to read what was not in the textbooks of high school to understand, uh, for example, biochemistry or even languages. And I thought to myself, never in my lifetime am I going to even see a picture of the Pluto surface stuff like that. He said, I wonder if I'm going to live long enough for somebody to run a mission to Pluto. And they did. Our star, the Sun, uh, the Milky Way, millions and billions of galaxies. What are the possible living organisms beyond that physical uh, entities that we now think about? Well, every um, aspect of life uh, really hinges on the questions we ask, uh, whether it's a Wall Street hedge fund investor uh, or a scientist uh, working alone in a laboratory. If we don't question our lives, uh, they probably can't be meaningful to us or to others.